what is up guys it's the alpha slays here back with another video on cosmic void planet um factions let's play this should be episode five i believe um for any of y'all that watched the um ps4 um survival let's play another video of that will also be getting uploaded tonight i have a couple of videos pre-recorded right now so i'm gonna go ahead and do two episodes tonight one for cosmic and one for the ps4 survival let's play um, this has actually been a requested video lately of how to get started in Cosmic Factions. Um, basically just building sets, getting used to, you know, Cosmic and learning about most of the stuff. Um, what is this? Oh, it was just a weird loading screen. I guess because it's laggy. Um, but I will not have time to cover all the enchants, all that kind of stuff, all in one video. It would be an insanely long video. So I'm kind of just going to go over the basics of Cosmic, getting started, yada, yada, yada. Um, obviously, I'm in a faction, but that is a key part to actually getting started. So obviously, when you get started, let me actually... Oh, uh, no, I'll just... Let's just go spawn. So obviously, when you start out in factions, you're going to start at spawn. Um, from here, um, a number one way that I find to get started, actually, is to go ahead and create a faction. Factions are ultimately going to be really well for you. Um, the more players you have in a faction is the basically the more team you have working towards a similar goal. Um, obviously, with starting this late into Cosmic, there aren't many you know, players that don't have a faction. See, like, that's a faction. Um, X-Harm does not have a faction. Um... Sorry if I, I'm just kind of showing people's names and everything, but um, like um, for so example, the Bros, as you well, we're enemy to the Bros, but as you can see, like that's a faction. He doesn't have a faction next to his name. It's kind of hard to tell, but normally ranks are um a color, and then they normally just have like their title next to their name. So when it's white like that with like some stars or a dash mark, that means he is in a faction. Um, some people stay to size, so you can't see anything of them at all, but um, that's basically how to know who's in a faction. If you text in public chat, I have my public chat muted right now, um, just for the sake of the video. But see, like, all these people are in factions. It's, with it being this late in the season, it's kind of hard to find players that aren't in factions mm -hmm. as of right now. But the number one thing to do, as soon as you load into a cosmic world, either join or start your own faction, just something like that. Um, so once you get started, if you want to go the solo route, some people like to do the faction route, some people like to do the solo route. Um, personally, I still think creating your own faction, even if you're the only person in it, is probably the best option. But obviously you're going to want to do slash wild. Um, so you can get out here and start building a base. Um, my best suggestion for building a base if you're doing a solo faction would just to literally... Dig a hole down, um, get a good farther amount down. Um, obviously, all y'all should have slash kit. Even if you're a trainee, I'm pretty sure you still get, yeah, you still get the starter kit. So this will give you some basic tools, just some simple things. Yada, yada, yada. That, that way you can get started and start building a base. Um, so I would suggest going down underground, um, maybe not all the way down to bedrock level, for the simple fact that some a lot of people actually in factions mine down to bedrock level and just TNT the bottom of the world to try to find bases, unclaimed bases, on bedrock level. So personally, I would not build your base on bedrock. I would build it probably around um, height level 20 or so. Like deep enough in the ground to where it's not going to be easily seen and high enough above the ground where it's not going to be easily found. Um, this is actually, did I actually just find a base? I think I actually just found the unclaimed base. Unless it's just a tunnel. I can't tell. It might have just been a tunnel. But, um, that, uh, the way I could tell it was an unclaimed base because there was a dirt patch and not grass. But, um, that's just a little tip and trick to finding bases to raid. But, um, anyways, so you want to get kind of farther in the ground. Um, let me actually get rid of some of this. I don't really need any of this. But, um, let me get rid of this. 
I'm going to go to my base and basically just show you how to start up just a small starter base. Let me go here. Um, I'm just going to grab an atomic detonate. Um, obviously, you won't have an atomic detonate. You're going to have to hand mine. Um, but atomic detonate pickaxes do make things. Where is my... There it is. And then let's get a silk touch so I can place back everything. I'm going to have to go back to spawn. And wild. So every now and then when you go to wild, it's going to teleport you in the water. You just got to swim back up. Um, obviously, if you are a trainee, you will not have the fly command. You So you'll be running, be swimming, yada, yada, yada. Let me find some land. I don't even know what my coordinates are right now, actually. Um, but the best thing to do... Actually, I can probably turn on my coordinates. I'm not, I don't plan on going back to the base at all, so... Um, let me get them up so I can give you guys an example on kind of how far, like what your coordinates want to look like. Why is it not coming up? Um, cosmic settings, please. Oh, I should probably mute these. Turn off my notifications for right now. Okay, Cosmic Studies aren't coming up. Um, slash, I think it's X, Y, Z on, I believe. Or maybe it's just X, Y, Z. I don't, okay, we're going to have to unmute this for a second. So I can see what I'm doing. Um, X, no. What is the command? I guess there isn't one. I thought there was a command for it. Or maybe it's just slash chords. I guess not. Okay. Um, I need this to pull up my... There it is. Okay, perfect. Okay, so display chords. This is something you normally want to have on while you're playing. Obviously, I don't have it on while I'm recording because I do tend to go back to the base. Uh, I don't want the coordinates of my base being leaked. Um, but yeah, so that 11,000 for the um, uh, very right number is a very good number. You want it to be far away from as far away from zero as possible. So you kind of want to fly out some. Um, obviously, these are obviously pretty good chords. I'm 11,000 out one direction and almost 6,000 out in a different direction. Um, so sometimes just kind of go back to spawn, do slash wild a couple times until you get kind of teleported out pretty far. Um, if I, as soon as I can find land, I can go ahead and show you guys how to start a starter base. I'm actually going to make a little cut real quick and go find land, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. I found some land. It actually was very shortly after the water. It's literally right over there. Um, so basically getting down, obviously I have a silk touch. Not everybody's going to have a silk touch, but you're definitely going to want that grass to grow back like as quickly as possible for the simple fact that just like how I saw that base earlier, it was because uh, it was just a dirt block and it wasn't grass. So that's a good little tip while you're getting down into your base. It's just, and um, obviously you won't have a, well, you do get 32 stone out of your starter pack, so, like your starter kit. But you want to place this back with stone and not cobblestone. If people see cobblestone, they'll know, you know, somebody was there, and they'll try to break in. Um, I'm obviously not going to dig all the way down, but um, you'll have to clear out all this. I have a atomic detonate pickaxe, so I'm actually going to use it just to kind of... Speed up this process just a little bit. Um, right there. And right there. So you do want a pretty good size space. Um, obviously, when you're in a faction, you can do slash F claim. You can claim this. Um, another good thing, I'm not going to use actual obsidian. But um, what you would want to do is get one block away from all the walls. So just like this, take that out. So when you mine your space, you're going to want one block off all the walls for an underground base. This is just going to give you a simple little layer of protection. 
Obviously, I'm not going to build all the walls. But um, with this, you can place water all around this. And obviously, you're going to want these blocks to be obsidian. Um, obsidian isn't exactly very cheap. So you can start it out with cobble until you start getting some money. But over time, you're definitely going to want to replace all of this with obsidian. Um, and then once you get that done, you're going to want to put water around the bottom, the top, the corners, the sides, everywhere around your base. Because um, in factions, you cannot TNT through water. So it kind of gives you just a simple baseline of protection to your base. Obviously, there's still easily, it's still not very hard to get into one little water wall. All they got to do is shoot sand into it, a little hybrid shot with a TNT cannon, and they can probably break into it pretty quickly. But this will just kind of give you simple, um, just a simple little protection wall between anybody that doesn't know how to cannon. So if, if somebody was to come across this and they don't know how to hybrid shot, then they can't really get into this. It would be very struggling for them to get into this. So it's just kind of a simple little way of protection. Um, once you get your room built and everything, obviously you can start placing chest. Um, a number one way to start getting spawners and money, stuff like that. AH is honestly one of the best places to find probably the best deals. I mean, a lot of people overprice things. I'm actually going to just kind of build this out while I'm talking about everything just to get it started for you guys. But um, AH is probably one of the best places to find. Some, some players have a lot of overpriced stuff on the H, so you have to know what kind of deals you're looking for and know what you're buying, what you want to buy, what it's actually worth. Um, a good thing to do on AH that I found really helpful when I was getting started, so like, let's check AH right now. Um, obviously, you will not have much money, so you can't buy many things. Um, but like, let's look through here real fast and see... Hmm. So obviously once you get a couple million, I mean sometimes you can find things for really cheap that are worth mul a lot of money. So execution ranks they normally don't sell for much. That's overpriced. 10 million, nobody's going to buy 10 million. Um executioner plus ranks, they are good, but at the same time like they just they're so common now that not many people will pay for that much. Um, let's see if I can find any actually on here. Dun, dun, dun. I'm really looking for something just small, like a G kit gem or something for cheap. That's ridiculously overpriced. Um, um, these heroic upgrade generators or heroic upgrades, like right here. Um, if you get these, you can get them from your vote boxes. Uh, make sure every 24 hours you're voting for the server because with that you get a vote loot box. Those vote loot box give you money, things like these. I mean, they give you like 71K. I mean, obviously it's not a whole bunch of money, but you can also get really good things out of them like cosmic crates. Um, just really good stuff that you can sell for a lot of money. So I would make sure you're going to those. And these things, that's way overpriced. 15 million. Obviously, nobody's going to buy it for 15 million. Personally, I don't, I definitely wouldn't. This is probably, they probably go for about 2 million, maybe 3 million. So, if I was to see this deal, which I mean, I'm not really worried about flipping this price, but if I was to see this deal with not, like with only a couple million dollars, I would buy it and then sell it for about 1,500 or I'm at 1.5 mil or maybe even 2 mil. So you're getting 750k to 250k profit just by flipping the price on it. So those are always just kind of an option that you can go through um, going through age once you get a little bit of money and flipping some prices. Um, v kits. V kits are always really good. The lucky V kit is probably the best V kit you can buy. Um, you get really good stuff out of it, especially once it starts leveling up. Uh, v kit. The Lucky V Kit can actually give you other V Kits. So that makes it really special. It can give you G Kit gems, all that kind of stuff. So it can be really overpowered at some points. So if you never get um, your hands on a V Kit gem, you definitely want to save up money and get a V Kit gem. They're very overpowered. So that's another little tip just to kind of get those. Um, I'm actually not really going to finish this. So I'll...
Okay, I'm actually going to XP bottle everything. Let me get all this. And then slash E chest. I will just throw this stuff in here. We'll put it back later. Another really good thing to go for is go to slash spawn. I have a home set out in the war zone, but for those of y'all that don't have one, I'm just going to show you how to do it the best way. So you'll go back to spawn, and right down here in this middle thing, it's war zone down there. So there's a high possibility that you could die. A lot of players do fly around, and if you are a trainee, obviously you won't have the fly rank. That's at Void Walker, Executioner, Executioner Plus, and um, Interstellar rank. So you have to have a T4 or above to start getting fly ranks. Um, I am I actually am giving out a couple free ranks just kind of at spawn. So if you're a trainee and you're hopping on the server and you do see me online, um, if you could get my attention in chat, I am actually giving away a couple um, Heartless, Phantom, Spectre ranks. It's only T1 through T3. They don't actually give you slash fly right now. So, I mean, but it's still ranks. So when you do slash kit, you'll be getting... You can get all the way up to Heartless rank right here. So instead of just the starter kit, which is just like Protection 1 armor, you can get all the way up to this, which is Protection 4 and Breaking 2. With a couple more swords, like Looting Swords, just to kind of get started a little bit of XP with it. Just some simple stuff like that. Um, actually, I'm going to put this on. Because we're going to go down into the war zone. I don't really need any of that. And obviously, flying around spawn, you can honestly find some really good stuff. I know just a minute ago, there was a um, Crown of Shadows helmet over here. Just random G-Kit um, stuff. Tactical TNT, some Mimic TNT. People throw away spawn. At, like, I just threw away all this stuff at spawn. Like, people throw away stuff at spawn all the time. So, if especially if you're starting out new, a lot of people will throw out, like, their G-Kit stuff like that out at spawn just because they don't want them. They have a lot better stuff than what those are so those are obviously e easy pickups for you to get um but there's things called cosmic envoys they'll pop up i think it's like every 30 minutes or something and they spawn these little chests and all you have to do is hit it and they drop stuff out of them now sometimes they will drop mobs and they are a pain to kill and they do do a lot of damage so you definitely want to be wearing sometimes i'll fly around naked like with no armor or anything but it's probably smarter to find to wear at least just a little bit of armor. And you can pick up a couple good things out of these. Um, he's probably going to maybe come and kill me. See, there's some armor. Just kind of simple armor. But um, you can get all the way up to spawners. All types of stuff from just the Cosmic Envoys. So it is pretty helpful to go to these. Just to kind of pick up some free stuff. Um, I'm not seeing many more. That one's under the lava. Oh, that's LMS. We don't want to go in there. That is for once you kind of get some more better armor and stuff along those lines. That's also under the map. But obviously, you'll be kind of running around um, War Zone, so it'll be kind of a bit harder for you to get to Jest because almost everybody on the server has Slash Fly at this point. He should not have Slash Fly. Oh, he's standing on a mountain. I really don't want to kill him, but at the same time, I kind of do. I'm just going to kind of crouch with him. Oh, he's throwing all this stuff. I don't want your stuff, buddy. Okay. Um, but yeah, just kind of fly around here. Um, you can find some pretty good stuff. And obviously, it's not really good, but I mean, people have pulled out um, CCs out of the envoys. I mean, you can pull out some really good stuff. This is also the only place to get a Silk Touch pickaxe besides age. So, I mean, people will sell them on age from time to time. But um, see, so Unique Soul Tracker... I'm not seeing many more chests. I don't know when the last Envoy was, but also flying around. See, like a pig spawner. Boom, right there. People will throw out kind of like the smaller spawners just because they don't really need them. So, obviously, flying around War Zone and everything can give you an easy start to just get a couple items that a lot of players will throw out. See, these things are so annoying. The Space Demons. Especially the baby zombie ones. And they put you into combat mode, so, I mean, y'all don't have slash fly, but when if you have slash fly, it's a, it takes a, you have to wait the 15 seconds to start 
um, flying around again. So they are pretty annoying. Um, oh, I just disconnected. Okay, guys, we are back on the server now. We had to wait about 15 probably minutes or so. Um, but back to these on flights, I think one spawned, actually. But yeah, you can get really good things out of these Envoy chests. They are very, very helpful. Um, so it's always kind of worth just kind of going around Warzone, seeing what other people, other players left behind. Um, there's a wolf spawner right there. Just kind of some stuff to help you get started, help get things going. Um, you can find a couple things in here that people will actually buy from time to time. Um, like those, uh, randomization scrolls, like those simple randomization scrolls. Sometimes people actually buy those for the quest because there's quests that give you, um, uh, you have to randomize 10 books or use 10 randomization scrolls. So they'll buy those little small ones, not for very much money, but just a little bit of money going into it. Um, looks like I am not getting very lucky on very good stuff but obviously we have passed a couple spawners so i mean just going around here for just a little bit and trying to pick up spawners whenever they do spawn is always kind of nice um, i'm not seeing much else and obviously if you're lucky enough to get kind of big spawners um for starting out like blaze spawners are real nice for xp grinding um just kind of some simple stuff like that. Um, what I actually will do is go ahead and show off my grander sword. Um, let me go. Well, for one, let me turn off my coordinates before I do go back to the base. This is probably going to take a minute to actually be able to get into the cosmic PE or cosmic void planet settings. Come on. So that way I can turn off my coordinates, go to the base, and show you guys a couple things. If it'll ever load, that'd be fantastic. You kind of just got to keep backing out, going back in, and most of the time it'll start loading up. But it used to be where you only had to go in, back out, and then go back in, and it was up. But lately, it's kind of been not wanting to pop up. Come on, man. I'm not getting it to pop up, which is really annoying. Okay, it's not coming up at all. Um, let's actually just go slash spawn. I guess if it's not going to come up, then we'll just do it out in the wild. I just don't want to do it out in the war zone because obviously I don't have very good armor on right now. But if I go into my e-chest, I will show you guys a good sword to um, work towards. Um, let me actually just go into faction chat and item it. The way you guys can see all the enchants on it. Here we are. Okay. So this is basically one of the top grinding swords that I've been able to make slash find. Um, you're going to want to get the T5 sword, the Executioner Rank sword, as your Vanilla Enchant, so Sharpness 5 and Breaking 3, Fire Aspect 3, Looting 3. A uh, Master Inquisitive 4 is going to be very hard to get, so normally most people just have Inquisitive 4 on it. But these are basically the enchants that you want to be able to get onto it here. I'll give you guys a better look if you'd like to take a screenshot of this so that way you know what enchants you're looking for 
Um, obviously, Legendary are going to be the hard ones to get, and then the Heroic Master and Quiz 4 is going to be way harder. But the Legendary Normal Enchant is going to be Inquisitive 4, and then the other Legendary Enchants, the Elite Enchants, and then the um, Unique Enchants. But that is what you guys are going to be looking for. Um, oh, I did not mean to do that. I meant to do that. Let's put that back. Um, and I don't need this stuff. Um, another big thing to kind of help is actually coin flip. Um, coin flip is kind of either a make or break. You can either win a bunch of money, lose a bunch of money. If I actually look at my coin flip stats, in total, I have won $53 billion and lost $47 billion. So I'm actually technically at about a $6 billion um, uh, advantage in coin flip right now. So that's really nice to know. Um, but just doing kind of small coin flips, just kind of practicing making money. Um, you know, I mean, you can make a bunch of money doing it. So especially if you're kind of doing smaller ones, most people that do big coin flips, they'll take smaller ones is what they call rigging coin flips is where they try to lose a whole bunch in a row and then go and do big ones. Um, which is a method. It actually is a pretty effective method. You can get hate on the server for doing it. Um, most people don't like people doing it, but, I mean, it's not against the rules or anything. It's just kind of how the coin flip is set up. Um, so, I mean, there's always that route to do while you're doing coin flips, but for the most part, I mean, just kind of stick to not coin flipping your entire balance so you don't lose everything, but at the same time, um, coin flip enough to where you can actually make a little bit of money that's profitable. So that's always just kind of a good idea if you are into gambling, if you're into taking those sort of risk. Um, it's kind of just all up to you and what you're willing to do. Um, but I guess that's actually going to be it for getting started in factions. Um, building G sets and everything, that would be a whole other video just because I think this video is already reaching a pretty long time limit just of getting started in factions. Um, so... For the most part, I think that actually will be the end of this video. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I really hope this video was um, helpful for you guys um, getting started in um, factions. If you are new to factions or if you are new to cosmic, just kind of getting uh, kind of settled in. Um, if you guys are enjoying the videos, which I have actually have gotten a lot of positive support um, in comment sections and in the game, stuff like that. So make sure if y'all are enjoying, make sure y'all are subscribed. Um, only 23% of my viewers are actually subscribed. So if you are enjoying the videos and you do watch them pretty commonly, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We are aiming for 100 subscribers. So that way we can give away that 100 mil money note. Um, that way, you know, you guys can have a good base to start making some money and having some money to actually start doing things. Um, but as always, it was great making this video with you guys. And I will catch you guys in the next video.